the gates is opening at 3 o'clock at 4 at the morning. Welcome to the time my dad and I camped at Darwaza, nicknamed the Gates of Hell in Turkmenistan. When we were at the crater, incredible water sight and what an incredible heat and fumes escaping from that crater. They did not let us camp at the crater and warned us of a very dangerous situation that could arise. Duk, 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 duk. Not much afraid, we tried to stay, but finally after inhaling the sulfur fumes, we decided to move to the earth. Hey, Jacob, your turn now. So, the story my father was alluding to was indeed quite strange, and some might say disturbing. We had never heard of it when watching other videos of the gates of hell. Firstly, before we even went to the crater, we had dinner near the campsite. Our shadow was spurring my dad on to drink some alcohol. He kept ordering Turkmen local alcohol and beers. We were both laughing. He was super strict, but this seemed relatively relaxed for him, a bit too relaxed. We were both confused. Note this encounter for later. Then we made our way to the crater and the stories from Durde began. He began with telling me to look at the tip of the flames. Notice how they aren't orange like usual, but they possess a red glow. Just see, just what does just see on the borders? I don't, I don't see it anywhere. No, 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 just, <laughs> just see you in one point and don't change your eyes and one point on those sides. A little. A little, thank you. <laughs> they say it, but you don't want to say it. <laughs> they want to show you the light, red lights here. Red lights, just see. It's yellow, remember that. It's yellow, don't red. Yeah. Don't red. Okay. I couldn't see it. And then he began with, if you really want to see the red flames, go to the gas crater at 3 or 4 a.m. Will you come with us as our shadow, I asked? He exclaimed, absolutely not. I will not go. Let me ask the driver. The driver replied in local language, and the shadow said he will also not step foot near the crater. I'm just try it if you don't trust me. No, no, no. I trust no, you. you. Must try it. I trust you. I trust you. But... I will send my uh, driver with you, and I don't go, okay? I will send the driver with you and I will not come. But I want you to come with us. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> I have my own children. <laughs> he don't want them too. <laughs> this piqued our interest. I started to ask some more questions to Durde. He told us that the story is that the local villages have lost children over the years since the crater's formation. They've disappeared without a trace. They all believe that around 3 or 4 a.m., Every night the gate opens and hell's on the other side, hence the name, the gate of hell. The gate is opening at 3 o'clock, at 4 at the morning. And you ever see it? The old, old man, people who live it here, they have lost their children and never find them. That was in the years 1970s after. Wow. miracle for you you listen just oh that's brother green from germany but not so <laughs> little girls will come out of the gate knock on your yurt and do not open the door he repeated multiple times there are no little girls on the camp only one in the kitchen and they will not come to our door do not open yeah. He then whispered to me, I gave your dad the alcohol at dinner so that he'll sleep deep tonight, not open the door and be curious enough to see the red flames. The shadow was fully convinced that this story was real, or maybe it was all for show, but he even went to the other tourists staying at the camp, educating them on the story and not to open the yurt door in the night. They all just laughed, thinking he was crazy. If there are any Turkmen nationals coincidentally watching this video, maybe you can comment on the validity of the story in the comment section. To be honest, we're not one to believe in paranormal stories, but it was entertaining hearing him tell these stories around the crater. Kind of like when you were kids telling horror stories around a campfire. Nevertheless, some history about the crater. The early history of the crater is a bit unknown. One of the more common explanations is that the site was drilled by Soviet engineers in 1971 as an oil field. But 
but collapsed within days, forming the crater, with the engineers choosing to flare the crater to prevent emissions of poisonous gases, but they underestimated the volume of the gas, which is still burning today, over 50 years later. We'll wrap this video up here, and stay tuned for the next one, discovering Konya Genj and crossing into Uzbekistan. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Interested in hearing anything specific? Just comment down below, and I'll get back to you. See you next time.